Welcome back to Shoulder Challenge Month. We're on week two, day 12. Now today, we're going to be going over thracolumbar workspace. And what that means is your mid-back and your lower back moving together as one to create the biggest range of motion possible. However, we want to start and just zone in on that area. So that's going to involve making sure that the pelvis is stabilized so that doesn't rotate when we go through the movement. Okay, and much the same from yesterday with the neck. If you know a sharp pain, diminish the angle and then go around in both directions, okay? So I'll start the video so you have a good idea. So we want arms up overhead so we can lengthen the tissues, especially some of the muscles from the lats, serratus anterior, which more bottom up attaches some to the arms, upper back, shoulders, and the rib cage. Again, both directions, making sure you're not rotating the pelvis the best you possibly can. Back and forth. Now with this, we wanna make sure we're doing this much the same with the neck, anywhere from three to five reps. Anywhere for today, five to 10 steps throughout the day. So setting an alarm on your phone, um, setting a timer, and anytime that goes off, perform the activity. It's gonna feel really good. It's gonna feel like a nice, stretch throughout the body, but we want this to be more on the mobility side of things. So again, let me rotate this here so you have a good idea of the whole rib cage. This is also even like the oblique system. This is going to attack the, the core and a lot of the muscles, especially serratus anterior, serratus posterior lats, which also affect the shoulders and the rib cage all the way up. So Again, making sure you don't rotate your pelvis, arms up overhead, big circles, both directions, anywhere from three to five reps for five to 10 sets today. And this is something you can do throughout the day and we're zoning in on your mid back, lower back. And that is the challenge for today. Have a great day, y'all. Woo!